What if I told you there's a video editor designed to make your content look professional without overwhelming you with endless tools? That's exactly where Adobe Premiere Rush comes in, but in 2025, is it still worth your time and money? Stick with me because by the end of this video, you'll know if Rush is the right tool for your content creation journey or if you should move on to something else. Adobe Premiere Rush has always been about one thing, speed and simplicity. The interface is clean, drag and drop friendly, and easy enough that even beginners feel comfortable within minutes. It's built for fast edits, quick trimming, adding music, voiceovers, or text, and then exporting directly to platforms like YouTube, TikTok, or Instagram. If you're a creator who wants to shoot, edit, and post all in the same day, Rush makes that possible without much hassle. Another strong point is how accessible it is. You can use it on iOS, Android, Windows, or Mac OS. That means whether you're editing on your laptop or just making quick cuts on your phone, Rush has you covered. It's one of the few editing apps that truly gives beginners confidence and allows them to create social-ready videos almost instantly. But here's where things get tricky. Rush is simple, maybe too simple. If you're expecting advanced editing features like motion tracking, green screen, keyframing, or high-end effects, you won't find them here. Adobe deliberately left out those tools to keep things light, but that means many creators quickly outgrow it. Another drawback is that Adobe removed one of its most convenient features, cloud syncing between devices. That used to make it easy to switch from your phone to your desktop, but now that flexibility is gone. Plus, while the app is free to start, most of the real value sits behind a Creative Cloud subscription, which isn't cheap compared to other editors. Some users also complain about occasional crashes or lag when working on longer or high-resolution projects. So who is Premiere Rush really for? If you're a beginner, a social media creator, or someone who values speed over complexity, it's still a solid choice in 2025. The workflow is smooth, and it gives you just enough control to polish your content without slowing you down. But if you want more creative power and long-term flexibility, there are better alternatives like CapCut, Filmora, or DaVinci Resolve that may suit you more. Here's the bottom line. Premiere Rush is still worth it if your priority is quick, clean, and simple content creation. But if you're serious about scaling your editing skills or building a professional workflow, it might not be enough anymore. Now I wanna hear from you. Do you think simplicity is enough for content creation or do you prefer having advanced tools even if they take longer to learn? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on the latest reviews and guides.